So good morning, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we're looking at this for one of our customers, the Titan in blue. Another one straight out of the shop and absolutely perfect. We found no issues with this bike whatsoever. We're just awaiting the ride test. Customer has gone for the top box and the alarm system on this. this is the Electric Alarm 03. One click to arm, one click and then two, turns the alarm on. What you can do with the alarm on is if you're inside the house, you want to keep your alarm on. You can also remote start the bike by pressing the key fob. So very, very good. Let the bike warm up. And then when you come out, turn the alarm on and start the bike, or you can just ride straight off. We would all suggest make sure that the alarm is off because you will be draining the battery on this. So turn the alarm off. And then we're just going to take this one out and get some road mileage on the bike. So all the extras on this one and customer is due to collect in about three to four days so we're going to take this one out get some road mileage on it and see what this little titan is doing obviously it's a very very wet day today so there may be some drops of water on the camera while i'm doing this it is absolutely chucking it down cats and dogs but it also gives me the ability to show you what these lexmoto tires are like in the wet so we're just going to wait for the traffic to pass and obviously with this one it's got the daytime running lights so make sure that you're nice and seen in the wet weather and he's obviously chucking it down like the proverbial i've got all my wet weather gear on this morning obviously i don't just ride in dry weather i ride in all weathers and not just on these but on the big bikes as well so straight up to 40 now obviously my braking tests, I know how a bike should feel under braking so I am going to do some quite hard braking tests in the wet just to show you how this bike runs. But obviously as a new rider I would always say to you watch your speed going into corners nice and gently on the braking but what I will do I'm going to come in hard on that front brake in wet weather and as you can tell, those brake pads, you can tell, are very, very wet. i just set my mirrors up a little bit more, so I've got a decent view of the road behind me. Mirrors on this very, very wide, as always, about a third of your shoulder in the mirrors. Bike's ticking over very, very nicely. And then once we get onto the dual carriageway, we'll just show you what this little Titan can do. So it's bright and early morning, it's very very early this morning, I think it's about quarter to seven at the moment, so I tend to come down to the garage very very early and get my ride tests done before we open up. Which is something I normally do as an added bonus. I do this in my own time, don't get paid for doing this. So, winded the bike straight up to 40. Now obviously with these uh, Lextech alarms a lot of people have said on the forums you can't wire them straight in this one goes straight in on the nine point socket um, they also have said that with the uh, euro 4 bikes the Lextech alarm cannot be wired in it can but it has to be hard wired um, so hard wiring of the alarm you can't just one of these plug and play jobs but our senior tech has figured out how to wire them up to most of the EFI bikes and get into that starter, so starter circuit for remote starting. So as long as you've got a good electrical text, uh, test engineer at your garage or a senior technician that knows electricals inside out and our senior technician does, he knows bikes backwards and forwards, you can actually hardwire them in. Um, we will be talking you through that, I will be doing a video of how this bike wires in on the electrical circuit and uh, I'll try and get a diagram up of uh, the bits and pieces. It did take us quite a while to figure it out, but obviously he's got uh, test probes and voltage testers and everything, so he managed to get in on other bikes and wire the alarm in. Now, the, the alarm you're looking for is the new one with the remote start. It's the Lextech 03. It's Alarm 03, but make sure you don't buy the old version. You're going to buy the new version that has the four tags 
Um, one for on, one for off across the top. The bottom left one is your remote start, and then the right one is your panic button, your alarm sounder. So that is the alarm that we can wire in. Obviously we, uh, we do charge for fitting of an alarm. But if you did want one of those, pop into your local Lextech dealer or Lexmoto dealer. Uh, if you wanted one of these alarms fitted. Or if you are buying them from obviously CMPO. Make sure that your bike has that 9 pin socket. Most of the Titans have got the 9 pin, it's just under the front cowl. Some of them are under the seat on the Michigans um, and all the other bikes. But if there isn't a 9 pin then there is a, a way that you can do it hard wire but obviously make sure that you've got a, a diagnostic or electrical technician that can do the job. Don't just give it to any old bike dealer and say can you wire this alarm in? They're going to be there for hours cutting and chopping wires, probably chopping the wrong ones. So make sure they know what they're doing before they proceed with your bike. But most of the bikes can be done now. Um, uh, unbeknownst to those that have said, I can't wire my alarm in on the Lexmoto pages. Yes, you can. It just needs a damn good engineer to figure out which circuits and which wires are what. They're currently running this little Titan in for our customer. And if you've seen some of the test rides that I've done on the Titans, I absolutely love these little scooters. Really good little bike. And as always, it does what it says on the tin. Really, really good. I do enjoy getting out and riding these, but obviously not on a wet day like today. Just thank God for the, uh, the nice textile jacket and my uh, waterproof trousers. And obviously, I wear quite a lot of different bike gear. And... Uh, people have asked me what should I be wearing on a bike should I be wearing this should I be wearing that I would always say if you are sort of doing just your daily commute a nice textile jacket and a nice pair of waterproof textile leggings will do you a nice pair of hard boots your Doc Martins or a pair of short bike boots keep your clothes on normal clothes on underneath and then uh, what you can do is obviously when you get to the other end take them off hang them up, let them dry off if it is a wet day, or you could just fold them up and put them under the bike. Coming in on the back brake, and a nice hard stop on that, so brakes very, very effective, and these tyres are great, even in wet weather, everybody knocks Chinese rubber, but these little uh, tyres that are on these Titans, absolutely perfect, never an issue with these in any type of weather, as long as those tyres are nicely scrubbed in before you decide to take corners. So we're going to get a bit more dual carriageway mileage in. I'm going to talk you for a few more bits, especially uh, bike gear. So if you are in the market for textiles, always make sure that uh, textile clothing, even if you are buying it from uh, cheaper places, make sure it has what's called CE armor. So that's elbow protection, shoulder protection, spine protection. You can get just normal textile jackets, but if you go over, the first thing to hit the road is going to be elbows, hands, shoulders and back. So always make sure that uh, any protection you buy has got CE armour. Now obviously on the leggings with the textiles they've normally got uh, hip protection, knee protection and what we call bum protection. Mine are fully armoured as well. So I've gone for the, uh, the bike tech jacket. I absolutely love this little bike tech jacket. I was out with it on uh, Sunday. Rather than wear my full levers, I had my bike tech jacket on with the CE armour in. And the leggings I've got, they do do a bike tech version, but obviously I've gone slightly more upmarket. And uh, I've gone for Frank Thomas. And obviously my Frank Thomas ones, I've got titanium armour across the knees on these. So I've got titanium slide pads on the knees and titanium slide pads down the shins as well, just in case. And I've got my nice big heavy pair of bike boots on. But uh, if you are going full levers, obviously levers as well should have CE armour in them. And you should also have a slide rating. Just check the slide rating if you are buying levers. Just don't make sure you don't buy the, uh, the cheap rubbish. There is a lot of stuff going around on uh, marketing sites or these market forums. Especially the big one that begins with E. Where you can buy sort of really cheap bike gear. I would err on the side of caution because most of that stuff is going to be imported from another country and it's not going to offer you the protection that uh, some of the British stuff would do. So I'd always pay, uh, say, pay, for, pay a little bit more 
and uh, dress for the slide, not the ride. So we see a lot of bikers that are out. Saw a lot on uh, Sunday when we were out, little 125s. Um, nice hot sunny day, and they were all running around in t-shirts, pair of jeans, absolutely no gloves guys put some gloves on that is the first point of contact when you come off a bike it is human instinct to put your hands down that is the first thing that is going to hit the road even at 30 mile an hour gravel road you're going to mash your hands to pieces so get yourself a decent pair of bike gloves obviously i've got my kawasaki ones on and these have got uh, carbon knuckles all the way down the glove and these have also got titanium mesh inside the lever, so the whole glove is one coat of titanium mesh. And obviously these did cost me a lot of money, but I value my skin very, very much. So I've only got one lot of skin, I don't want to be scrubbing it away on a tarmac road. And believe me, I have done that a few times on track days where I've slid across a track, gone down a track, stood up and walked away from it, from the simple reason being that I've had damn good protection on. And uh, even track days or road days, normal road days, you should be wearing the correct amount of protection all the time. That's one of the things. Um, helmets, always um, get yourself a decent helmet. Don't go with these uh, 40 quid ones that you'll find on marketplaces or your local uh, motorist shop. I did have someone say to me, oh, how much did you pay for your helmet? I said, well, I do like to uh, obviously spend my money on decent bike gear. My helmet that I'm wearing is an LS2. Uh, it's the hybrid version, and my one is the pure silver. It's the chrome one. Obviously, I've got Iridium screen, inbuilt sun visor, and I've got the inbuilt center headset as well that uh, links into my phone. But on mine, obviously, I paid about £380 for mine. You can get a decent helmet for just under 100 quid, And... Uh, Someone did comment the other day on uh, the Lexmoto page, I've picked up a really good helmet from this, uh, this store that you can find that does bike parts and does car parts. And I went, ah, oh, does it begin with H? Yes, it does. They're doing helmets in there for £39.99. Would you recommend it? No, I wouldn't. The only reason I would buy one of those helmets is to use it as a plant pot. Absolutely no protection at all. He said, well, it is sharp rated to four. Yes, but does it have the... ACU sicker, has it got a BS kite mark on it? Well no, it's just sharp rated, yeah, that's great. Sharp ratings are good, but I would always say, err on the side of caution, check a helmet out before you go spending your money on a helmet. So that's just a couple of things, obviously I'll do some more over my blogs over the next couple of weeks, and currently we're 11k in. So a little bit more dual carriageway mileage, I'm going to uh, wind up the video here. As always, if I do have an issue, I will leave it on the video. I'll fast forward to the point where I have an issue. If not, I will let it out here and we'll come back in when we go back into the urban mileage. So I'll catch up with you guys in just a while. So just coming back off the uh, dual carriageway mileage into urban. And we are 28 kilometres in absolutely zero issues on this bike pulls like an absolute workhorse does what it says on the tin and it's been a good ride on this one apart from the fact that it is absolutely teaming it down so uh, i don't know what the camera's going to come up like whether i've got rain spots on the camera but uh, hopefully customer can get uh, a good idea of how this bike rides I say we ride in all weathers so nothing delays uh, a ride test on a bike unfortunately <laughs> I would love to be out on a dry day but uh, due to the fact that customers need their ride tests doing because this bike will not be released until it's been ride tested by me and QC by the senior tech when I get back but I've had zero issues on this bike and over those potholes that suspension is just soaking up all the bumps it's coming back in past the camera I'll get a little bit of urban mileage in on this one just around town put it around a couple of roundabouts just to show you how good these little tyres are in the wet obviously the rubber that they used to use a couple of years ago wasn't that good it was good but it wasn't that good and obviously now the rubber on these is a lot better they've saw some decent tyres on these
So it corners very, very well in the wreck. Obviously on new tyres, I'd always say, err on the side of caution, take it easy going around the corners. Act like you were on a 50, take your time. And just go steady in wet weather. Now obviously I've not touched the front brake at all, apart from that hard stop we did at the beginning of the ride circuit. I'm actually on the left brake all the time, which is what I say. Right brake, right brake for uh, dry weather and the left brake for wet weather. It's just coming into the roundabout nice and gently but even leaning it round that corner nice and gently it does still corner very very well and you can tell it's a wet day because uh, my inner arms are starting to feel a bit damp now obviously it absolutely teamed it down there earlier it's like a torrential hailstorm I won't leave that in the video, but uh, take my word from it, you can tell by the amount of water on the lens. Probably. Um, but, I would say with textiles, make sure you've got some change of clothes somewhere, just another shirt or another t-shirt. Textiles do get rid of a lot of water, but obviously when it chucks it down, they do start to get slightly damp on the inside. There is absolutely no way you are going to find a bike product that is 100% waterproof. It still will get slightly damp on the inside, and obviously... You will get that little bit of condensation, so left hand brake, and you can see it still pulls up very well in the wet weather with that combined braking. So we're going to start to make our way back to the garage, and this was a ride test for one of our customers that has gone for the Lexmotor Titan with top box and full alarm package. Titans are in August the 18th, and so far I've got four reserved, I have got 12 coming, so there are another eight available. If you want to put a pre-order or deposit down on one of those, give the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles a call, 01908 643603. As always, if you enjoyed the video and watched, uh, enjoyed watching me get absolutely soaked, then uh, give us a thumbs up if you didn't like it. I don't care, thumbs down. I'm really not fussed either way. Um, but do uh, click the like, click the subscribe. If you're over on my uh, Facebook page, we're nearly at a thousand subs, so what I have offered is uh, first person who hits that button and gets sub number 1000 will be a Rev Bomb t-shirt to you going out in the post. That's UK only, postage is free. I'll send you out a t-shirt for being me thousand sub. All these social media on my page, go to revbomb.co.uk. On the About Me, down the bottom, all the links to Eclipse Motorcycles, the Facebook, the website and the phone number for them. All my social media is on my social media page, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. And uh, enjoy the rest of the week, guys. Be well, ride safe, and until the next video, it's a big goodbye from me.